Hi, I'm Missy Keast. The topic today is chalkboard eraser. I remember back when I was in seventh grade, I had a group of girlfriends. We were really tight knit. We went to Arizona, we went to ASDB, which was the Arizona School for the Deaf and Blind. And it was seventh grade and we were all together in a math class. Our teacher was Mr. Revel. He was a deaf professor and he taught math and he was amazing. We loved him because he could truly sign in ASL. It was great, but he was really hard because he had zero facial expression. His face never showed any expression at all and he had a long droopy mustache that covered his face, but we loved him. We could tell that every once in a while he would he would laugh, but only because his eyes would squint just a little bit with a little glimmer in him and the mustache would quiver just the slightest amount. We were, uh, this group of girls, we were notorious for the endless chatter that we always had. And since he was deaf, the minute he would, after he would explain something, he would turn to the chalkboard to write on the board and we would immediately start to laugh and giggle and talk and he would get so frustrated with it. He would tell us to knock it off, to stop all of our chattering, but we didn't listen. We, <laughs> so one time he got so mad, he, um, he had told me to stop several times and so he was at the board with the chalkboard eraser in his hand and he threw it right at my face. It left a big mark on my, on the side of my face, chalk on my face, a cloud of dust in the air. And after that, every single day, he whenever he told us to knock it off, he would he would throw the chalkboard at me. I got to where I would duck sometimes and it would hit the wall instead. But he never broke character, he never got mad or anything. He would just he would just do that. That was the thing that he did. Anyway, after that, whenever I got together with my friends, we would always reminisce about the stories of his class. So years later, I happened to see him. I was shocked and I happened to see them, him. Remember back in the day, he probably, we were probably the bane of his existence. We probably drove him absolutely crazy. So when I saw him years later, I felt a little bit guilty, like I needed to apologize for all of our evil behavior. But in fact, when I did that, he said, no, he actually missed our class so much. He said that he, he never had a class like us. There was nobody ever like us again that he ever experienced and he really missed that class. He said, in fact, we were the best class he ever had. Wow, I couldn't believe that. So anyway, that's my, my, chalk, my chalkboard eraser throwing story. Of course, that was a long time ago when I was growing up. That would never be allowed to happen now. But wow, what a story.